Hey everybody, Lance Koike here. We're talking about deadlifting without hurting your back. Deadlifting safely without hurting your back. And today the fault or the cue, I guess more is what we're talking about here, that I wanna give you is I want you to drive with your hips. And so this is for people who can get in a pretty good position here at the knee or do a pretty good RDL eccentric lowering but when they start to come up, they lose it. Their knees bend forward, they shoot forward, they arch their back up, they lead with their shoulders, and they'll say, I just feel it in my back. So first, again, I kind of preface this, but you need to be able to get here first. If you don't, go back, watch some of my other videos, figure out how to work top down in your deadlift. Figure out how to get into this position with heels in the ground and a little bit of hamstring finding feeling and g I don't think that's a word. Next, after that, so if we find the hamstrings, we need to be able to keep them throughout the rest of the movement and that's what people are losing. So you've heard me talk about the hamstrings in a lot of different movements and that's because they are a good target for you to shoot for. But finding them, I often say find and feel, because finding is one thing, but feeling and maintaining that feeling is totally different. So we have to be able to find here, down at the knee position, and then we have to keep feeling as we come back up. And especially as we layer reps on and we put more weight on the bar, we're gonna start feeling it more and in other positions, right? In other situations, other environments. And that's what training is, right? It's desensitizing you to all these different things. It, you know, deadlifting 135 is completely different than deadlifting 225 or deadlifting 95. Every time you add weight, you totally change. You're training a totally new lift. And every time you wake up, you have a new body that you're lifting with. So you need to figure out how to translate what you do know into what you have at the moment. So as I, if I can get this good position and I'm leading with my shoulders to come up, First thing I might say is, your shoulders are coming up too quickly. I need you to just push your hips forward and eventually you will stand up. Boom, and then that worked. I'm just kidding, that doesn't work that often. So what else are we gonna do? I'm gonna say, okay, you look like you're trying to lift the bar up with your back, but what instead I want you to think about doing is I want you to push into the ground and just let the bar come up with you. Sometimes reframing it that way works wonders. And if it, it doesn't always work, and I, I might not even say it works the majority of the time, but when it does work, it lasts really long. So I'm usually gonna try that first. If those cues aren't working, then I'm gonna get tactile and I'm gonna tap your back while you're doing this. So I got one hand on the hip, one hand on the shoulders or upper back, right about here and right about here. And so as I come up, if you see the shoulders come up too quick, I'm gonna push down with that hand and I'm gonna say, okay, this is coming up too fast, try again. And then they're gonna come forward and I'm gonna say, nope, try again. And what I'm looking for is for the back, um, I guess the angle that the back makes change. If I see it curve more, then I know you're doing it incorrectly. And so you can film yourself and you can watch yourself that way. It's sometimes hard to get if you're not getting tactile cues like I'm giving people. That usually works. It, you know, it doesn't work right away, but it works within a couple minutes. And it might not last that long. It might not last quite as long as, hey, I want you to lift with your legs, not lift the bar up. I don't want you to pick the bar up. I want you to push into the ground. Like if that works, it works really well for a long time. If I do the tactile thing, it works pretty quickly, but it might not last. And so I might need to come back over and say, hey, remember my hands there, you're pushing too hard into my hand. And I'm gonna try to take away the, the tapping that I'm giving you. So if you have, you know, get friendly in the gym. <laughs> People aren't always that scary and maybe they're willing to help you and say, hey, dude, could you come over here and put one hand on my butt? while I deadlift because I'm bending my back too much. Maybe you gotta work on your delivery a little bit, but <laughs> it, 
it can work. People are helpful. I encourage you. And if they hate you after, you can just send them to me. <laughs> so that, that's going to be the big thing. We're trying to learn how to drive with the hips, not lift with the back. Okay, that's your summary.